We are learning more tonight about the economic consequences stemming from a tense maritime conflict and what it could mean for Canadian consumers. Today, a missile fired by Yemen's Houthi rebels struck a U.S.-owned ship in the Gulf of Aden. CTV's Adrian Gobriel on the escalating hostilities. A parade of its military arsenal on full display in Yemen. While over the open water, Iranian-backed Houthi militants are being blamed for an attack on this commercial container ship. The U.S.-owned and operated Gibraltar Eagle was hit by a ballistic missile in the Gulf of Aden today, according to U.S. Central Command. This is an attack against an innocent merchant ship going about its business, legitimate business, served by innocent seafarers, and they should be at the forefront of our thoughts. Satellite tracking data shows the Gibraltar Eagle had been bound for the Suez Canal, but rapidly turned around at the time of the attack. The ship's U.S.-based operator says the vessel suffered limited damage to its cargo hold and no one was injured. Iran-backed Houthis have launched over 25 illegal and unacceptable attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. It's a concern of global significance. The route through the Gulf of Aden, the Red Sea and the Suez Canal is a vital shipping route linking Asia with Europe and the West. A relatively significant amount of goods that uh, come into particularly eastern Canada uh, through the Suez that, that originate in Asia. Two-thirds of ships slated to arrive in the port of Halifax later this month are now expected to arrive anywhere from a day to two weeks behind schedule. The president of the Canadian Shipping Federation says if the conflict in the Red Sea region persists, Canadian consumers and companies will begin to feel the pinch. Virtually anything or everything that you can imagine is carried uh, on, on a container ship. So uh, retail goods, raw materials for manufacturing. It's not just commercial vessels being targeted. On Sunday, Houthi rebels reportedly took aim at an American Navy ship sailing in the southern reaches of the Red Sea. The unsuccessful weekend attack on the U.S. destroyer marks the first known fire by the Houthis since the U.S. and U.K. with the support of Canada began airstrikes on Friday, hitting dozens of Houthi targets in Yemen. While the Houthis have said they're avenging Israel's war with Hamas in Gaza, recently many of the vessels they've targeted have had little to no connection to Israel, resulting in all major container carriers avoiding the area, opting to travel around Africa. Omar, it's a costly route that can take an additional one to two weeks. All right, Adrian, thank you.